Hello and welcome to this edition of Sudoku Primer videos. Today we're going to find quintuplets. That's five numbers in a group. Twins and triplets, they're pretty common, pretty easy to find. Quadruplets are less common, but quintuplets are quite rare. We'll find some in this puzzle. I'm also going to talk about finding twins to non-uplets. That's two numbers all the way to nine numbers and pointers on how to locate them. This is puzzle number 81 from volume 132 of Sudoku to Go by Soap, Soap Opera Digest. Now I'm going to start um, filling in numbers here. If you have any questions about any numbers that I fill in uh, or anything about the puzzle, please leave a comment and I'll answer your questions. A 5 here and a 5 here and a 5 there, so that's a 5. A 5 here and a 5 here, so one of these is a 5. But we also have a 5 here and a 5 here, so one of these is a 5. And a 5 and a 5 there, so one of these is a 5. Using double row elimination, that eliminates this 5 right there. And uh, put it right there. And all these techniques I'm talking about you can find on SudokuPrimer.com if you uh, want to read up on them and learn more about them. Okay, now we've got a 6 here, 6 here, 6 here. And I've got an 8 and an 8 and an 8 there. And 8, 8. So that's an 8. We have a 1 right here, and how do I know that? Well, we've got a 2 and an 8 in this column, and a 2 and an 8 in this row. So that leaves these two as two 8 twins. So we know the 1 has to go there, because we've got a 1 here and a 1 here. So the 1 can't go there, because these are two 8 twins. All right, now let's look at this box 5 here for a minute. We got one and five here, and one and five here, so we have one five twins there. We have a four, four and a six here, a six there, and ghost four is there, so these are four six twins. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, and nine go in the middle column. There's a seven and eight there, so that's a nine. <clears throat> We've got a, let's see, we got an 8 here and an 8 here, so we have ghost 8s there, so 8, ghost 8s, so one of those is an 8, so that's an 8, and that leaves a 7 for the middle, middle cell. All right, and now... A 9 here, 9 here, 9 there, so that's a 9. And 7 and 7 there, so that's a 7. Now we can fill in the two 8 twins because we have an 8 there. The two 8 twins we found earlier. All right, at this point, I'm going to show you the quintuplets that I found. If you'd like to pause the video and see if you can find it yourself, pause it now. Uh, otherwise, I'll just move forward. And I do want to make a general statement here and give you a couple of pointers about um, finding twins, triplets, all the way to non-uplets. Uh, twins, triplets, all the way up to non-uplets can be found if X numbers fit in the same number of cells. In the twins example, here, two numbers had to fit in two cells. If you have triplets, you have to have three numbers in three cells. And all the way up to nine numbers in nine cells. Now, um, one thing, another thing that is really helpful, 
helpful is not all of the numbers need to fit into every cell. And that's actually quite good and quite helpful. Now with twins, you have two numbers and they have to fit in two cells. But with triplets, you could have triplets and um, all three of the numbers could, could only, only have to go in two of the cells in order for the triplets to be triplets. Now, I'll give you an example after we um, find the quintuplets here. Okay, let's look at box four. We're, we already have one, seven, and nine in box four. Let's see where all the other numbers go. We have two, three, four can go anywhere in the box, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Okay, now um, we don't have quintuplets yet, but there's one thing I need to point out, and that is we have the four, six twins here. And the six in box four, we have a six here, and we have a six here, so we have ghost sixes here. So the six in box four has to go here or here. With four, six twins here and a six going here or here, we have uh, a situation we call uh, unique rectangles or the ambiguity rule. And that rule tells us if these are four, six twins and one of these is a six, the four cannot go in either cell. So that constrains the four to one of these four cells. So therefore we have quintuplets right here. Let me go over the numbers one more time. Two, three, four, five, and eight. So here are our quintuplets right here. And I mentioned a minute ago that not all of the numbers need to fit into every cell from triplets up to non-uplets. In twins they have to because there are only two, two cells and two numbers. But with triplets all the way up to non-uplets they don't have to. And this is a real good example of that. We go over the numbers. See, we can't put a two in every one of these five, any one of these five cells. Or a three, or a four, or a five, or an eight. Two can only go here or here. Three can go anywhere in any of the five cells. The four is constrained to these four cells, the five to these two cells, and the eight to these two cells. But these are still quintuplets. We know they are. Because the five numbers can only fit in this group of five cells. So I hope that clarified that and I uh, hope that helps you with uh, especially with triplets because quite often you'll find triplets and that'll be the case where all three numbers don't fit into all three cells. And you may not notice that they're triplets if you didn't know that uh, that all numbers not all numbers need to fit in every cell. Okay well now we have two, three, four, five, and eight. That means this is a six. And that leaves a four here and a six there. There's our four, six twins that we had. Now we can do, let's see, we've got three, seven, and nine missing in this row. So that's a nine because there's a three and a seven in this column already. And we've got 9 here, 9 here, so this that makes this a 9. Once we filled in that 9. And we've got a 9, 9, 9 right there. All right, now the 8, we've got an 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, so that's an 8. We couldn't put that, fill in that 8 before the, we put the 9 there, because before that, the 8 could have been in either of these two cells. But that puts that an 8 here also. All right. And remember the 2s could only fit the 2 could only fit here or here, so that 2 goes there now. All right. 
Now we're only missing two numbers in column three here. Three and four, there's a three there, so four and three. All right, now we've got four and seven missing here. We can fill those in because of that four right there. And with that seven, we can fill in the three seven twins we had here. <clears throat> All right, now what are we missing in this row? We're missing two, three, and seven. We got the three and seven there, so that's a two. Now we're only missing two, three, and four in this column. There's a three and a four in the row nine, so that makes that a two, and this a three because of that four. And that's a four. Right. This two here makes that a two because of these two twos. Now in box eight, we've got three and four. 3, 4 twins here, and 2, 7 twins there. With that 2, we can fill in the 2, 7 twins. We can also fill in the 3, 4 twins there because of that 3. All right, now we got 4 and 6 left in this column. That 4 there. All right, now, we've got one, one, six, and seven missing here. There's a six and a seven there, so that's a one. A seven there and a six there. All right, now we've got a... Uh, Four, four. What are we missing here? We're missing one, three, four. There's a four there. One and three we can't solve yet. All right. Let's see what we're missing in box four here. Three and seven there, so we can fill those in. And one, four there. Now we can fill in the one and three missing in box six. We've got a uh, one and seven here. A three and a five here and a one and a five there. And that's it. We were able to solve this. Once we found the quintuplets, that helped us find the, the four and the six and the six here. And that got us going. Um, and we found the nines here and that helped us uh, finish up the puzzle pretty easily. So remember, when you're looking for twins, triplets, all the way up to non-uplets, to any number of numbers in a group. Um, remember that not all of the numbers need to fit into every cell. And that's actually good. And that's with triplets on up to non-uplets. With twins, both numbers have to fit in both cells because there are only two cells. But anything else, twins all the way up, um, you don't have to have all the numbers fit in all of the cells in order for it to be a group of numbers. Well, thank you for watching.